that the warmer weather is here, you may be thinking about planting your garden. So when is the best time to plant? Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Garden Guru, Ken Cook, <laughs> who is live outside our studios. Ken, what do you got to say? Well, uh, Tom and Amanda, even for someone like me or perhaps someone who's done this for many, many years, uh, all of a sudden the transition from the cold weather and the wet ground to the warm weather now and the, and the dry ground has left us unprepared. So even I, as I started doing my, pra my planting, have had to prioritize. What a great time of year it is. All the garden centers are just absolutely stocked. Hanging baskets, marigolds, salvias, zinnias, chrysanthemums, all kinds of things out here today. There's just a world of flowers to be had, world of plants to plant, and I've got a couple of great people right here to, to answer some of our questions. I have Pat Fullerton and Susie Swanson. And I just want to ask you, what's the number one thing that gardeners should be doing right now? Pat? Well, Ken, I think the main thing is getting that soil ready to go. Um, you can't do enough preparation, getting rid of the, eradicating the weeds, um, anything like that you can do to get the soil jump started before you get the plants in is going to take you a long way. Right, and Susie, what, what do you think is the number one mistake that gardeners make this time of the year or even later in the summer? Um, probably over fertilizing. That's a key thing and sometimes people think more is better, but in the case of fertilization, more is not better. You'll end up killing your stuff instead of helping it. And what about watering, Pat? Uh, what do you think uh, is the number one thing to do and number one thing not to do? Well, mainly the number one thing you want to make sure is you're getting your plants enough water. Mother Nature is not helping out, and you would know that more than anybody can. Um, we've got to make sure we make up for that deficit. And also you got to draw that line. You don't want to be overwatering because you'll do as much damage in that respect as well. Since the weather's gotten so warm so fast, I've divided my planting list into three categories. Number one, must plant now. Number two, you should wait a week or two. And number three, wait until about May 1st. These are the items that you must plant now because the reality is they should have already been planted a week or two ago. They include cabbage, there's white and red, cauliflower, which is high in vitamin C, broccoli, several varieties, that's an everyday standard vegetable, and some mature in 45 to 50 days. Now you can't beat that. And collards, which is an old southern favorite tradition. The garden centers are loaded with all kinds of tomatoes from giants to cherry tomatoes. So tempting to want to go out and plant. But I put the tomatoes in the after April 15th category because of the possibility of cold nights and frosty mornings. Other items I put in the after April 15th list include corn, squash, zucchini, cantaloupe, cucumber, watermelon, and pumpkin. My wait until May 1st list includes the following. Sweet potatoes, peppers of all kinds, including hot cayenne, sweet, jalapeno, banana, they're sweet and hot ones, uh, corn, because this could be the first or second planting, okra, and tomatoes. This could be a first or second planting on those. Let's see if I've gotten everything. I've got my plant right now list. Wait until April 50, 15th and then May 1st. Have I forgotten anything? Mr. Cook, you forgot your beans. My beans. Every garden has got to have green beans. But wait a couple of weeks until the soil gets nice and warm. Right, Kaylee? Yes. I'm really... Uh, I'm really so glad that Kaylee was there so that she could help me as I wouldn't forget my green beans. So those are just some suggestions. We'll have a few more suggestions coming up at 6 o'clock. But whatever you do, just get out there and plant, plant, plant. Back to you inside. Out here it's kind of warm right now. It's kind of warm. And get the kids involved, right? <laughs> All right, Ken, Get thanks. the kids involved. They, they love it. <laughs> All right, kids. See you in a minute. Thanks. Still ahead on Fox 5 News, the agonizing wait for families in West Virginia, praying for four men still trapped inside a mine. And what we've learned about...